Welcome to Desk Geek. This is going to be a fun video where we're going to take an old MacBook 2012 Pro that I got off eBay for 300 bucks. It had some keyboard issues and things which I've since fixed. But one of the biggest problems is it's got a 5400 RPM hard drive. These are great little Linux machines. You can turn them into a Linux machine. And for 300 bucks, it's a really fun system to have. But I can't stand that 5400 RPM. So we're going to upgrade that with the SanDisk Ultra 2 SSD drive that I had laying around and it's so simple to work on these old Macs, some of the newer ones too. You just go into disk utility here. We're gonna put the new hard drive into an external enclosure. I have the Acorn enclosure. You can see a little bit off to the left, that little blue box there and it's plugged into a USB drive. And we're just going to go ahead and erase or format this drive and get it ready for uh, putting, uh, transferring all the information from the old hard drive to the new hard drive. So we can name it whatever we want here. And we're going to keep the format Mac OS extended journaled and the scheme a master boot record. Now there's going to be a link down below for a program called super duper. Now, technically you can do the transfer using the time machine built in functionality in a MacBook, but I prefer super duper. It's free and I'll have a link you can just download it and you can do it while the system's booting and here's a view of super duper all you're going to do is select your original hard drive and you're going to have your destination to your new hard drive and then you're going to do using backup all files and you can see it's in that SSD is in that little enclosure right there plugged in and we're going to let this go we're going to click copy now and we're just going to let it copy everything exactly as it is over to this new hard drive and the great thing about this you won't have to reinstall any programs do any new settings or anything so once that's done copying you're going to shut down your machine and you're going to take off that back cover now keep your screws in a place exactly so you can remember where they're at there are longer screws in the back and most of the other screws are the same and you can see once you take that cover off it's pretty simple you've got the hard drive sitting right there and you've got your ram if you're wanting to upgrade right there you could not make a simpler system all we got to do is remove one simple bracket here so that we can get the hard drive out and that's two screws so you're just going to remove those two screws there and you're going to take that bracket out and then our hard drive is going to be free this is how simple it is so we use super duper it finished its copy we're now removing these two screws we're pulling out this hard drive we're going to remove the connector gently here and there you can see that old old hard drive and we're going to replace it with the new sand disk we're going to put the connector back in we're going to put the bracket back on and we'll be ready to go and remember put that sticky on as well because that makes it easier if you're going to upgrade in the future to get that hard drive back out so once that bracket's back in place you're essentially going to stick the cover back on put your screws in that hopefully you remembered exactly where they were placed uh, just a little hint that the longer screws are in the back and you're going to be done with this upgrade. That is how simple it is. But while we're in there, you might as well clean out some of the dust. Notice that I'm holding the fan from spinning as I'm spraying it. And that's a mistake a lot of people make. They like that cool little rolling sound it makes. But make sure you hold that fan because you can break the bearings inside. And we're going to spray off the back panel as well where most of the dust gets exhausted. And just give it a little cleaning. I mean, it's from 2012. You don't have to go crazy here. But just get some of the big dust particles out of it and it'll make you feel better kind of like a car when you take it through the car wash it feels different when it's a little bit cleaner so once that back panel is back on this is where all the work begins because you have to do this really impossible thing of just hitting the power button now keep in mind that it's going to take a little longer to boot the first time you're going to see a a white screen basically and it's going to sit there and you're going to think oh my gosh did i do something wrong but just give it time, have patience, because eventually you'll see that the Apple logo will appear and your system will boot right into the login screen. And I can tell you after using this, having done the upgrade, it is so much faster than it was before. I no longer get that little circle with the different colors in it, what they call it, a pinwheel. I don't get the pinwheel anymore. So my next step with this little MacBook Pro now that this is all done is to, of course, install Linux on it because that's gonna make this thing really scream. Maybe upgrade some RAM and things. We already fixed the keyboard, but you can see it works absolutely perfect. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Leave your comments below. Let me know if you've picked up one of these computers, and until next time, get out there and fill your brains.
Welcome to Spawn. Thumbs up, watch the video.